Hello there, Seraphim17 once again, introducing you to my Uncharted 3 Crushing Difficulty video walkthrough. This is the 16th level and it's entitled One Shot at This. So when you begin, you don't have to go on that crate, you just have to open the door, I was just messing about. And it's going to be you and Elena sneaking through this airport trying to get to a massive jetliner plane thing, like military aircraft. And for the most, it's very easy. All of it's pretty simple. There's just one section which you can stealth through, apparently, but I can't. So I end up doing a big firefight and I get into a massive ruckus, and it becomes really, really challenging really, really quickly. And the, the good th part about this is, I'm going to be able to show you how to do it when shit hits the fan. The, the bad part is, it ain't easy. And uh, if you can avoid it, which I, I'm sure you can if you're good enough, it's um, probably going to be much easier. But for the purpose of this guide, I'm going to be shooting everything and um, I'm going to show you the best way to, to try and approach that, hopefully. And the, the early part of this level depends on waiting for Elena to come and help you push things and help you trigger things. And this first one is you pushing this car. But to push it, she's got to get inside and steer it, so you're waiting on the AI once again. And uh, I just mess about rolling on the floor like a boss. And then as soon as she gets inside, I messes with the wheel, it means I can go and push it. And all you do now is you push your analog, very simple stuff, so that it lines up with the window, and then you can climb on top of the jeep, jump through, climb over, and go to open the door. What's going to happen, though, is the door's already going to be opened, and a bunch of guys are going to come, and you need to, to, to fight them and, and do your thing. And a lot of them have got Spaz 12s, or whatever it's called in this game, because they've all got stupid fake names, and... Um, it's not too challenging. You've only got a silenced pistol, and the silenced pistol does not have that much ammo. There's a, there's a couple of guards that are on this level that'll give you a reload for it, but for the most, you're probably better off picking up one of their guns. So that window closes on you, and I don't know how it doesn't break his hand or sever his fingers, because it came down real quick, and you just have to do the, the platforming stuff, as you've been doing for pretty much the most of the game. And these levels after this one are going to start getting a little shorter than the, the last few we've had. There's there's one coming up after this one that's real short, where we're, we're fighting on the airplane. Then there's one where we're going through the desert, which is real short. And then we'll be entering a, a settlement that's actually kind of long, and then it goes back to pretty long levels. But this is the last third of the game, so we're, we're nearly there if you just wanted to get it over with. I'm sure none of you are, because this game is so damn fun, you never want it to end. But you just drop down here off this roof, and then you'll notice the doors are open, and as you move through this left-hand area, you'll see two guys moving really quickly towards the, the gate. So if you move behind them, you can shoot them both really quickly, or really slowly, depending on your persuasion. And um, try not to get killed by the guy with the shotgun, as I nearly just did. Then all you have to do is shoot the locks. And... Uh, you're supposed to shoot the locks, not shoot the floor. That's something that I do for fun, apparently. <laughs> Goodness me, my aim was bad then. But keep the shotgun for this area now. I throw a grenade to try and get a bunch of them on the spawn. I'm not too sure how well it works. It got two, but there's plenty more. And the good thing about this is they will all come to you if you stay back where I am. And considering we were trying to do this level stealth, there's a, a lot of killing happening, a lot of gunfire going off, and nobody seems to be batting an eyelid, which makes no sense to me, but I'm not going to question something I don't understand, there's just no point. <laughs> but swap it out for something that you're comfortable with, because the Spaz is, is not the best gun on the game by any means, and uh, just pepper that dude. And once again, we're going to be doing some more car pushing, once I've killed this guy over there that missed me with the shotgun, which is very, very rare, you want to want to watch out for that. And you're going to hear Elena say, let's do the same again. So she'll go she's going to get and start pushing the car. And you have to push it with her. It's going to run all the way down this little ramp. It's going to smash into the gate. And it's going to attract two guards that are very easy to kill. So don't worry whatsoever. The only reason this level is remotely hard is because of the area that I can't stealth through. It just it just seems really, really broken. It really does. And it's, it's one of those areas where he even says, come on, let's stealth through this. And it seems like there isn't a way to do it. It's almost like the game is teasing you. But like I say, if anybody knows how to do it, please leave a comment. And, uh, you know, of your expertise telling me what I was doing wrong. Because I just, I got all the way to the end and I just, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get past the two guys on the last bit where you have to climb up. And even when I did get past and it was completely stealth, I failed because Elena couldn't. And it was just like, this game is broken. And it's the only real part of the game that really pissed me off as far as, you know, not being able to make it work. 
everything else was fine. So once again, loot the bodies, loot the corpses, get as many grenades as you can, it'll all come in handy. And then get ready to, to climb into another warehouse, like a boss. And this is it, this is the, the area that I can't stealth through. So you wait for Elena to drop in. I've usually got more silenced bullets for this section, and what I would normally do is I shoot pretty much everybody at the start, but because I didn't have the rounds to do it, I had to get a little bit creative, so... I kill that guy with the stealth takedown, and I move to the left towards his friend. This guy moves the same every time. He'll stand there for a while, he'll turn around, and he'll move down the left-hand side of this box. If you wait for him to pass the box, you can go behind and snap his neck, nice and quickly. And then if you move towards the left, this is where mine deviated slightly from the last time I played, and I'm not too sure why, because I end up dealing with a guy that I didn't deal with before. So when I come over here, there's a guy with a torch there. Never seen him before, never seen him do that before. Didn't happen last time, not too sure why it did this time, but he's not too bad to deal with. As long as you don't set off an alarm killing him, you should be fine. I wasn't sure, so I stood on this, because when the alarm goes off, the, the red crate in front of me, the red container, a bunch of dudes will stand on top of it, and that's when you know that shit's hitting the fan. But this guy's the same. He'll move over there, and he'll stand. If you wait behind this container, he'll move all the way back towards you, and then he'll move to the left and go around the opposite side of this. If you follow him, you can take him down nice and quickly in the shadows and not have any issue. And this is where I get to pretty much every time. I can take down everybody in this room, but I can't take down these next two guys. It just doesn't seem to work. But we'll see what I approach this time, because, like, as I mentioned, I tried to climb that to see if there's an opposite way to get up onto the roof or something, but it's just weird. It's getting a lane or two here stealthily. It doesn't seem to, to work, so... I shoot that to make it blow up to get rid of the guys in front of the door. There we go. There is the alarm when you shoot it, so there goes that idea. And um, when, I, when I was originally recording this, I got rid of these two guys here, and I got really lucky because everybody's aiming at me, and somehow they don't shoot me, they just all watch me while I fight. I actually tried to climb up straight away, and don't try to climb up once you set the alarm off until you kill everybody, because Elena will just die. She doesn't have to get shot, you don't have to get shot, it just cuts to, you know, game over. It's really weird, but this is when shit kicks off, this is when you're fighting, and you've just kind of got to accept it now. So get your bearings, get your guns, and sit behind this forklift truck. This is the best place to defend, i found, and just pepper dudes. You're going to get heavies coming, you're going to get normal guys coming, you're going to get, it's going to be like a gangbang, there's going to be that many people coming, it's unbelievable. And you just need to pay attention to your left flank, because that Elena's nowhere near as useful as a human. She will not cover your ass as well as you want her to. And be aware that there's going to be two to three heavies that will come at you. So I see that guy going for the grenade. I use him to kill his heavy friend. That works out fantastically. And now I'm just waiting. Because you will get a checkpoint here once you fight and once you kill enough people. And it's when this spawn happens. You see when that guy goes on the roof of that crate? That's when the spawn kicks off. But um, there's another heavy there. So I throw a grenade. I start peppering him around the side of the cover. There's one guy to my right right now which I know of. And then there's this heavy. And the heavy is the main priority. Because he's the guy that's going to fuck you up the most. And... Because he's got a shotgun, he's easy to bait and he's easy to exploit, but luckily enough for me, he died and I can focus on killing his friends. So I've pushed over to this, this other piece of cover just to pick off these guys, and uh, I'm getting a little bit low on ammo, which is always the worst part, because as soon as you come down to the pistol, it, it gets a little tense. So I'm running over here, I pick up the shotgun, or I, I try to, but I pick a grenade up instead. And if anybody else when it comes close, they're, they're going to have to speak to my shotgun or my boomstick. So there's another heavy. There's a two heavies, sorry, so there's four heavies in this area. The grenade takes out that one. He's got to be weak after that. I hit him with a shotgun. He finally falls over, and now there's just the guy up there, the two guys. One of them's got a grenade launcher, though, so watch the guy on the left. Guy on the left is the main priority. Oh, no, sorry, guy on the right, my bad. Just kill everybody. That's pretty much the consensus that we've come to here. Just keep shooting, and hopefully you... You'll see that the, the enemy stop coming, it'll quieten down a little bit, and you and Elena will be able to climb on the roof. But there's one guy over there, so chances are there could be a handful of dudes with him somewhere hiding. Because this is the only part of the game where the enemies hide that i found compared to the other environments. You generally get rushed, but in, in here, they seem to, to keep the distance, which works in your favour, actually. But now that you've done that, you've passed the hardest firefight of the level, and one of the harder ones of the game... 
you can jump onto the roof, and this is when things get a little bit stupid. So this is another one of those highly scripted, run all as fast as you can and get shot a lot moments. And the only problem with it is you can die really quickly unless you've got a good route. But luckily enough, I found the perfect route through the level, and hopefully you guys will have no trouble either. So as soon as you're in control here, instead of running towards the, the entrance that's the obvious one, run up here. It's going to save you a whole bunch of time and it's going to stop you from getting shot too much. As soon as that blows up, you want to climb up this, onto this roof, and there's going to be a guy you need to kill. Take him out as quick as you can. He has a buddy up here that you want to shoot. And uh, just pray that you don't get tagged too much. So his buddy's there, I, I own him in the face, and then I run over here, and you want to jump off this roof to the left, because you'll notice I'm already getting shot. And I'm like, oh god, there's a guy there. Jump off here to the left run around these cargo crates, you'll regenerate your life, nobody will come for you down here, and if you push down on this angle, you'll avoid all the, the major areas where you can get shot from. And from here, you just need to jump across, run around the crates, watch once more for getting shot, run towards the road, and you'll see Elena turn up in a jeep. As soon as she turns up in the jeep, all you have to do is follow it, and the level is pretty much over from now. The only real threat that you're going to face is, I don't, I don't know, maybe boredom, if you're impatient and you want to get on the plane, but it's pretty much jobs are good and from here, so all you have to do is is, is run to her, you, you literally need to press a button to get onto the jeep, if you don't, he'll just hold it for ages and you'll wonder what you're doing, as soon as you're on it, she puts the foot down, there's a little bit of exposition here, and then you've just got to time your jump so that you jump onto the the, the landing gear of the plane, so that you can get inside it for the next level, but... As per usual, we're coming to the end of another section. I will see you in the next one. I do hope the guide's helping. This is a pretty challenging game when it wants to be. Uh, it all depends on how well you play it and how you know intelligently you move and you, you go through the areas. Next guide after this is going to be Modern Warfare 3, so please look forward to that because it should be something special. And hopefully, I will see you in those videos as well. So, as per usual, thanks for watching and you take care now.